Route Highway 10. You've got to be in your safe place. All right, we've got a storm that's capable of producing a tornado. Circulation showing up right there, and that's what we have. A lot of circulation, rotation out there with some of these storms as we get the main storm system pushing through Alabama. And as it does, a lot of these are just going to be able to spin up, and they could be quick, quick spin-ups and maybe drop a tornado at any point. All right, so Greenville, if you live in the city of Greenville, in around Greenville, you got to be in your safe place. That storm's just south of you, and that is approaching. So what we suggest is put as many walls between you and the outside as possible and uh, away from windows, lowest floor. You know the routine there, but we always like to go through that again just in case uh, we got some folks just uh, going through this for the first time. But uh, and, and speaking right. of folks going through this, I don't want to pick favorites when it comes to our viewers, but I do know our engineer, Thomas Mayberry, who lives just to the west of Greenville along Alabama 10. So, Thomas, if you're watching this, uh, get to your tornado safe place. This possible tornado is heading pretty much directly for you. All right, so a heads up there for Thomas and uh, everybody there in Butler County, especially just uh, west of Chapman, as this storm is just on the west side of I-65 now. But on that path, and what I'd like to do, Ben, is uh, we can stop that, come out a little bit, and we'll put a uh, track on this storm, and we'll pick up some more communities along that. I believe the movement on that's northeast at about 25, I think. 25 miles per hour. So uh, we have a radar-indicated uh, rotation there. Getting then, no communities in that track. All right, so kind of out here in the rural areas of uh, Butler County, but uh, just south of Forest Home, and just south and west of Greenville now, just west of Chapman. So if you live out in this area uh, between uh, State Route 106 and State Route 10, this is where you got to be in your safe place. So we'll get in there a little closer. We might pick up something that's going to pop up on there for us, some communities. And that, there you are, Shacklesville, uh, Starlington, just passing through there now. But uh, this will also head on up toward... Uh, the north and east and impact places like Red Oak Springs, all right? So this is our warm storm at the moment. It's showing uh, signs of uh, some rotation in there, and therefore it's prompted a, a tornado warning here for Butler County until 745 tonight. All right, so anything else that we got going on, we'll take a wider view here as we continue under a tornado watch until 1 a.m. for our area and uh, storms have already moved out of a lot of West Alabama, and some counties may actually be dropped here in a little bit. But for right now, boy, we've been watching this storm. This is just outside of our area that's coming up into Clark County. That's got a tornado warning on it just south of Jackson, Alabama, and that's moving up uh, toward the Grove Hill area in Clark County. That's one of our tighter circulations ongoing there. So this storm is... Uh, Looks to be our, our storm at the moment, no doubt about that, circulating storm there. Uh, what is the uh, verbiage on that? Is that an indicated or? Uh, uh, that's just radar indicated for now, but while we were on that point about the tight couplet showing up there on velocity, maybe worth looking at correlation coefficient just yeah, to see I think if there's so. a debris signature on that. All right, so we're going to keep a close eye on that one because it starts getting closer to our area uh, as it comes up out of Clark County, and uh, what we'll do is we'll put a uh, loop on this. Uh, meanwhile, again, you folks in Butler County remain in your safe place. Greenville, you're included in that tornado warning. Uh, but for right now, Ben, I don't see anything on there just yet. Yeah, so. I think near Jackson in yeah. Clark County, that's where we'd be looking, but nothing. Yeah, so maybe we're just in the uh, beginnings of that because it takes a, bit, a few scans probably to pick that up. But uh, we're probably going to see something in here at some point if that thing continues to uh, pick on up. And on that track, it would probably take it pretty close to uh, Grove Hill in Clark County. Yeah, so a heads up for you folks in Grove Hill. Stay on a debris tracker, Ben, and let's go up and uh, probably pick up the storm in uh, Butler County, see if we've got anything going on there. It might help us out, see if we've uh, got anything that might be trying to go. And it's going to be hard to tell from this which radar yeah. we're looking at as well. Yeah, a little but messy out there. A lot of mess. Our storm's out in here, and, and for right now, there's nothing really clear-cut with that. So uh, we've got time to watch that, but for right now, still that tornado warning in effect. Uh, with the polygon, and we'll go back over it to uh, yeah reflectivity for it. And this is where it is. A lot. Of, that's quite a, a bit of lightning in this. Yeah, cell. I was going to say, boy, that thing's really charged. Uh, so we got a lot of lightning going on. As a matter of fact, if you've got that camera, we can take that in a I sec. I do. Uh, because and what you could do, Ben, is uh, maybe do that. Draw uh, it in there. Uh huh. So we'll do that. Uh, we can keep the radar up there. Our camera's here. We're looking off south and westward. We've got a lot of lightning going on with this. But again, this is uh, this polygon roughly between uh, State Route 106 and, one, and, and State Route 10. So if you live in Butler County 
and you're between these two areas, south of uh, Forest Home, just west of Greenville. This is where our circulating storm is, creating a lot of lightning. And that's a, a sign there that our storm is charged up a bit. There's downtown Greenville. There's Commerce Street right through there. And so we'll be looking off toward the south, and uh, we've seen some lightning strikes there. Boom, wow. There, goes a big <laughs> there you right go. There. That's a cloud-to-ground strike. So a lot of that going on. So you got a lot of lightning. That's your heads up from Mother Nature telling you if you've got a lot of lightning going on, then, you know, this uh, the storm is approaching. So you're probably hearing a lot of thunder going on. And, again, we stress, if you live in the city of Greenville, in and around Greenville, along uh, Highway 10, heading west out of Greenville, and uh, 65, uh, just south of there, we've got, you can see it's lighting up the night sky. That's just vivid lightning. That's indicative of a storm that's capable of producing a tornado. It's got a lot of lightning in it. kind of turns night to day. And uh, that's what's going on with this particular storm right there. All right, cranking out the lightning. Also has some circulation in there as well. And so we could have the potential for a tornado at any point with that storm as it moves off north and eastward at about 25 miles per hour. Okay, so that's one cell, and uh, there's the camera back again on that. And again, we stress if you uh, live in, if you're inside this polygon, which is uh, just west of Chapman, uh, between Chapman and Greenville, and uh, there, yeah, I've got all, all multiple tools on there. Appreciate that, Ben. This is uh, velocity in there as well, so we know we've got circulation going on with it. And uh, on that path, that's just going to carry it right on to. Um, Butler County, just west of I-65, and may come into uh, city limits of Greenville here very shortly. So again, we stress: if you live in Greenville, you got to be in your safe place. You've got a storm approaching from the southwest that's capable of producing a tornado. We're looking at that. We've got uh, Commerce Street right there, looking along that, and uh, we're just seeing the night sky really light up. There it goes again. You can see all that. So we got vivid lightning going on. That's your indication that yes, that storm is approaching. If you hear. Uh, see the flashes more continuously and rapid. That means that storm's getting closer and closer. So you need to uh, hunker down and be in your safe place. And again, we always point out that that's the lowest floor away from windows. Basements are best. Uh, and, and, you know, when we get in these situations, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago we had a tornado that came through that just uh, by uh, unluck there that the, the storm pushed over a tree and then we had fatalities with that. And so... Uh, it's a good thing to have on your helmets, to have uh, your good sole shoes on as well as these storms are moving through, uh, because the, most of the time with these particular storms, head injuries are um, one of the more significant things that we get out of these. So put the helmets on, everybody, and uh, ride this thing out uh, and be in your safe place, all right? And that is you folks in Greenville and anybody that lives uh, between Greenville and Forest Home uh, along State Route 10. You need to be in your safe place right now as this storm is approaching. And uh, we're watching that one. I tell you what, Ben, let's do this because uh, we might, as this thing approaches, and let's go full screen with the, uh, with the camera here in just a little bit because what we can do is, is if we're looking off toward that southwest, we may be able to see something as it gets illuminated by the lightning. So we're going to watch that uh, as this storm moves rapidly north and eastward. So, um, again, we stress uh, you got to ride this thing out in your safe place. And uh, mobile homes or uh, manufactured homes wouldn't be in those. Get into something more sturdy as a storm is capable of producing a tornado here for us. All right. So right now it looks like um, we got this thing, uh, some uh, Slackville, Shackville, Shacklesville, Shacklesville on toward Liberty School. And this heads up toward eventually Searcy and uh, also the city of Greenville. So I'm looking at the path of that more than likely. Uh, from Greenville right there along US, or State Route 10 and just south of uh, Forest Home. So this will pass over more than likely uh, Sherling Lake Road, uh, Ridge Road will be impacted by this. A lot of lightning and uh, the potential for a tornado in there as well. Okay. All right. So that's our storm at the moment. And, yeah, take, take that uh, Greenville camera because I'm seeing it off screen there, and we're getting some lightning going on with it, uh, and we'll be watching this one as it approaches there just off toward the south and west. So the observation out at the airport right now has 65, but it has the winds calm, but I can tell you those winds are going to pick up here very shortly. There's some new lightning there as well. So uh, we've got this looking southward a bit. and I can pin it a bit if you want, but I think that's about the direction we'd be looking at there. Yeah, so we... Um, 
We'll look down Commerce Street right there. So that's a little bit more westward there, but the storm's coming in from the south and west. <clears throat> All right, so we'll be looking for this uh, particular storm, which is capable of producing a tornado. We're looking for lightning here to illuminate the sky and see if we can see anything that would give us a sign that uh, we've got any lowering uh, with this storm as it approaches uh, there from the uh, southwest. So there you go. Uh, may help us there. I'm just out of the screen just a little bit. So we're going to watch this, uh, but again, we point out that uh, you folks in Butler County, City of Greenville, you're included in the polygon. You need to be in your safe place. Here comes another lightning strike there. Uh, and what we'll do is we're looking for uh, maybe a wall cloud or anything that gets illuminated from that. Nighttime storms, that's uh, about the best you got to go with is the lightning illuminating some of these storms as they approach. So, again, we suggest that you're in your safe place as the storm approaches uh, here, uh, the city of Greenville. All right. So that's what we've got. Um, right now, I guess we should go back onto, um, let's go back onto, right, there goes another lightning strike. We'll put it back on the radar for now, Ben, and I'll keep an eye on that. I got it right off screen. So if we get anything going on in Greenville, I'll be able to see that. We can switch over real quick. And, and I did want to make a quick technical okay. note. Uh, we're trying to use our Facebook live streaming right now, but I just checked the Facebook page, and right now I'm looking at color bars on there. So I'm not sure if we're coming out of TV1 right now or um, if we're coming out of um, yeah, we're one on button TV weather. One. We're supposed okay. to be on TV1. Uh, if you guys can set it up in the back to where we can uh, get the feed out of TV1 up onto our Facebook page, I just think uh, that'll help some viewers out there out. All right, and uh, unfortunately, programming on some of our stations tonight, uh, Survivor, we've got an actual tornado uh, potential here, so that's our priority at the moment. Uh, for right now, we've got to watch this storm that's uh, capable of producing a tornado right there in Butler County. Also, another storm that is has been producing and had a pretty good history and a, a good signature on that is the storm coming out of Clark County that's moving north and eastward. That could get up into Wilcox County. So heads up, Wilcox County, that storm approaching you. And also Grove, uh, the Grove Hill community of um, in Clark County. And we may turn that down just a hair. Yeah, there I was thinking go. the exact same thing. And I did check our uh, Facebook page again. Uh, we're up and running on that. So anybody who wants to uh, tune in on our Facebook page, our uh, wall-to-wall severe weather coverage is up on that as well. All right, looks like uh, out, of the, out of the watch area is going to be Hale and Marengo County. Going to get, drop those out of, the, uh, out of the tornado watch, so that'll be updated here shortly. But for right now, uh, we obviously can see the, where the threat is. It's uh, Clark County, maybe Southern Wilcox County, and also Butler County under the gun with the active tornado warnings ongoing at the moment. And uh, that's what we have, so two active warnings there that uh, bear watching. All right, so a lot of lightning going on with this storm in Grove Hill. You folks in Wilcox County, Camden area, you look south and westward, you'll know that storm's approaching. That's going to come up from the southwest, moving north and eastward. So we're watching that closely for you, but we want you to get prepared. This storm could be in there shortly, uh, and it is capable of producing a tornado on that one as well. All right, so heads up, uh, Wilcox County. Let's go back to Butler County and get in there toward Greenville, a little closer in. Still got a storm that is capable of producing a tornado. It looks like uh, if we see that, uh, I'm probably going to have to go to the velocity, but here may be the, this thing's got to be on a little farther northward. So we've got lightning and, uh, occurring between Forest Home and Greenville, and our circulation may be right there. And uh, if you could, maybe uh, throw on the yeah, scope tool with that, and we can pick it out. And there it is. So our sort of circulation just approaching, uh, it looks like uh, State Route 10 between Greenville and just south of Forest Home. So there is our circulation mm -hmm. right in through there. And uh, I'm going to look at that on, uh, uh, let me pick up something else here and take a look at that. Maybe get a uh, debris tracker on that and see if we've got anything that's trying to show up from that as well. Um, Switched over to the debris tracker now. So. All right, yeah, because maybe we'll get a heads up on something a little quicker, but I don't, I don't see anything if we loop it. Maybe Nothing we, obvious there, no. Yeah, I don't think we have anything just yet. So that's uh, not a sign on Debris Tracker that we're getting anything, but definitely on the velocity we see uh, some circulation going on with it. So, again, we point out the city of Greenville, you need to be in your safe place. If you live along State Route 10, stay in your safe place. The storm is approaching very quickly. They're going to be crossing over State Route 10 here very shortly. And uh, there it is at the moment. So that's our circulation 
uh, coming out. What is that, Birmingham or is that? Uh, this one actually looks like Maxwell. Okay, so there we go. And as you can see, it's kind of out there right at the uh, edge of the beam. So it's going to get a little closer, a little better defined once it gets in. But uh, what we're getting there is spinning that's going on way aloft, but uh, can't rule this out to be a potential for a tornado. So uh, on that path, it looks like we'll carry that right up close uh, to the city of Greenville. So it's going to be just uh, right now southwest of Greenville, but approaching uh, the city of Greenville and on down the road, we could get this thing, if it stays together, we'll get up into Southern Lowndes County. So a heads up for you folks in Fort Deposit, the storm on the move and capable of producing a tornado. Let's get in on there a little closer and, sh and check it out. See yeah, one thing that just caught my eye was uh, some of those other cells that are kind of moving through parts of Lowndes, Montgomery, Bullock, <clears throat> Northern Pike counties. They all seem to have a little bit of circulation to them as well. Yeah, some spinners embedded in all this heavy rain out there. Uh, and those are the hardest to see. They're just embedded in rain, but they're spinning out there. And these winds aloft are allowing, uh, I've got wind shear going on. So this is allowing these things to just rotate tonight. And so a lot of spinners going on. Uh, this is approaching, uh, highlighting Liberty School. Uh, eventually this will head on up towards Searcy. Um, let's see, what else have we got? This will be just west of Wald. Uh, the city of Greenville included in that, just southwest of there along State Route 10 heading up towards Sherling Lake Road. If you live in these areas, you want to be in your safe places. That is approaching uh, fairly quickly, uh, moving off north and east at about, uh, what is it, 25 miles per hour? 35 almost. on the latest. Oh, 35, okay, we'll get an update on that. So there you go. All right, so again, heads up out there, Butler County, City of Greenville included in the Polygon, uh, Redox Springs, uh, State Route 10, crossing over that probably just coming over right now, crossing over State Route 10. And that, that'll move on up and toward the uh, Sherling Lake Road area and then eventually head on north and eastward. May get up there close to 65 at some point. So uh, traveling along I-65 would uh, probably avoid that. Anybody going southbound uh, toward Greenville, uh, you've got a storm approaching. Uh, to give uh, any friends or folks a uh, heads up that may be out there traveling and let them know about that storm approaching that's uh, capable of producing a tornado. All right, Ben? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're getting some updates to uh, the tornado watch. It's kind of confusing because we actually have two active tornado watches. One of those is for western Alabama, and that was the initial uh, mm -hmm. particularly dangerous situation tornado watch we had issued. So some of the counties mainly towards the Mississippi-Alabama state line are getting removed from those, but we can show you our updated tornado watch map to show you which counties still have a tornado watch in effect. Recently, we just had that whittled away for one of our counties. That's Marengo County in west Alabama. So at least for now seems like the tornado threat there has subsided so this is the scene i updated most recently so uh that initial tornado watch there for Marengo county that was a predict particularly dangerous situation tornado watch until eight o'clock this evening that's been uh, canceled early here we are at 718 so canceled a little bit early there but notice the area is shaded in yellow that still includes a lot of our area and its locations <clears> near <throat> into the east of interstate 65 that's our newer tornado watch will which will continue now until 1 a.m thursday morning not to say that we won't have storms passing through some of these areas before 1 a.m in which case we probably see the tornado watch canceled early um, the earlier, the further west you are, and probably the later, the further east you are, closer to the Georgia state line. But we uh, still have at least several more hours of tornado potential across our viewing area of central and south Alabama. As of right now, we're on the air because of the one active tornado warning that's for butler county and we can go back over to reflectivity to take a closer look at that and uh, look at the rest of our area as well because uh, depending on where you are you're probably dealing with at least some rain overhead certainly seeing some pockets of light to moderate to even heavy rain and thunderstorm activity near into the west of interstate 65 and we can turn on our, all our sweeping reflectivity sites and that'll kind of highlight that picture now a little further towards the east uh, one of the cells we're tracking not only the tornado worn storm we've been highlighting uh, near Butler County, but also some of these other cells, they kind of be uh, seem to be circulating a little bit. Another one that's uh, a little bit suspicious looking just worked out of Pike County to the northwest of Troy. Now it's in southeastern Montgomery County, so we'll kind of see if anything becomes of that, but it's not quite as intense. A little bit of lightning in there, sure, but 
definitely when you compare that to the cell that's uh, currently in the northern parts of Butler County, near, now the tornadic part of that mm -hmm. storm uh, likely approaching Greenville or just to the west of Greenville, this cell certainly looks much, much more impressive. And I think we had another uh, update on a tornado mention. Um, Let's see. Nothing uh, for that warning specifically, yeah, though. Yeah, all the talk is about uh, storms coming up from the Gulf Coast uh, and coming on shore. So those are going to be impacted the northwest panhandle. But for right now, like Ben has been pointed out, got some of these cells that are kind of embedded in rain, but they're out there. And they're by themselves, and they're racing off north and eastward a bit. And uh, this thing is ramped up with a lot of lightning now passing, uh, looks like uh, very close to Greenville, just south and west of there, and rapidly moving north and eastward. Heads up, Fort Deposit, southern half of Lowndes County. You need to be in your safe place with that storm approaching. Maybe we'll halt it about right there on the current view. Here we are tracking that storm as it's crossing over State Route 10 at the moment between Greenville and just south of Fort uh, Forest Homes. There's our circulation right in through here. So now I would imagine that storm is crossing right over uh, State Route 10, and then that will push on northward, and we're going to pick that up into uh, 185, it looks like. And 263. And 263 will be impacted by that as well. All right, so that's uh, in 65. Uh, at some point, this thing may work its way on just far north north, but probably up in Lowndes County or actually maybe into the northern half of Butler County where it gets up there towards Searcy and then approaches uh, I-65. So this is where our storm is at the moment. A lot of lightning going on with it and pos potential for a tornado with this. Radar indicated uh, and we see rotation in that particular storm uh, as it moves off north and eastward. So right now, don't have uh, Fort Deposit or Southern Lowndes County included in the warning polygon, but uh, that may be changing here shortly. If not anything, it may be a severe thunderstorm warning coming your way, so a heads up, Southern Lowndes County. And I just noticed it's uh, 721 already. That warning goes until 745. So I think like earlier, we saw the uh, uh, Covington and Crenshaw County tornado warning, how that storm kind of outpaced the polygon there. I think it could be a similar situation here because this storm's already in the northern half of that polygon. Tornadic part of the storm now crossing over Alabama 10, just to the west of Greenville. Uh, so next 23-ish minutes, I would suspect that maybe this could be outside of that tornado warning polygon. Also, we're in another situation now where the current warning is for a county covered by the Mobile uh, Weather Service Office versus Lowndes County. That's going to be a Birmingham Weather Service Office uh, um, county there, so it'll be up to them if they uh, decide to issue for Lowndes County or not. All right, uh, let's go up uh, and check out Southern Montgomery County. I want to look at some cells there. It might be some wind going on here. Uh, with some of this activity that's lifting up through here. So you might pick up some stronger winds. I uh, don't have anything severe with this, but this is just crossed over 231, heading up into western half of uh, Bullock County up toward Fitzpatrick. So got a little area here around 231, just crossed over that. Uh, wind uh, more than likely and some very heavy rain uh, pushing out with that little uh, batch there. So it's probably going to be a – and that's what some of these storms can do is – Winds capable of 60 miles per hour or so. So watch out for this little batch. It's going to blow through there. Just passing over 231 is southeast Montgomery County. That's going to be coming up into western Bullock County, approaching places like Fitzpatrick. And so it looks like we may have some stronger winds in through here, just kind of blowing out. And, and those Christmas decorations, if you had those out, hope you got them hunkered down or maybe you deflated them tonight because this is one of those nights you want to kind of let that ride, have those things down because we've got winds coming in with some of these storms as they push through here. So maybe upwards up there, 60 to 40, 45 mile per hour winds, and uh, that'll blow some stuff around. All right, so that's southeast Montgomery County. No warning out for that, but probably some winds in there that are strong and gusting up. Got some lightning in there with that particular uh, batch of storms moving through. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on any of that situation. That'll move on up into Macon County as well as that races off north and eastward. All right, so let's go, uh, and even farther northward as you go, we can see probably some intense uh, heavier rain and some winds coming up into southern Tallapoosa County uh, right there along the State Route 14 as that pushes on up, and that'll be in places uh, like uh, probably 50 or 49 will be impacted state routes. Uh, there and through parts of Tallapoosa County, all right? So we've got uh, not as strong a winds there, but definitely uh, the potential is there for very heavy rain, maybe some gust in there, uh, 25 to 30, okay? All right, let's uh, take it back out a little bit, establish the whole scene across uh, our area as we're embedded in a, 
area of rain and storms that are going to be moving through our area this evening. Some of those strong to severe embedded in that. We've got storms that are rotating, and so therefore it's prompting tornado warnings. These are uh, Most of these that are on the board now are radar indicated, and so the threat is there. can drop a tornado in a short period of time, so that's uh, why we are currently on, especially with this storm that is capable of producing the tornado in Butler County. And that storm uh, rapidly heading up in toward Lowndes County here very shortly. So you see back westward, uh, Demopolis, it looks like you've got rain going on. Marion's got some rain going on. Uh, most of uh, Marengo County, but I, I believe you're dropped out of the, uh, the watch area, uh, Marengo and Hale County, but uh, the threat for anything significant is now to your east, but you still have ongoing rain. Still in the, uh, in the threat area, more than likely anything along and south of uh, 80, 85, definitely suspect for something that could be a little stronger. And that threat is trying to shift farther northward as we get more instability, trying to push north and eastward. And it's taken a while to get this warm front on up there. There you can see what we had today for a good part of the day, high pressure north and east of us is considered a wedge where this, this cooler air kind of works itself down the uh, east side of the Appalachians. And the farther you push that southward, the air becomes more stable. Well, that had to be overcome today. And so as this, push, this warm front pushed farther northward, uh, the high releases its grip. It puts us more in this sector of where we get the uh, instability and, and the winds with our storm system up here to the north. Uh, uh, winds aloft are up there uh, howling, so this allowing these storms to uh, really get some rotation going on. We've got wind shear in the environment. And so everything leads to what could set up to be rotating storms, and that's what we've got out there. Not necessarily tornadoes on the ground, but definitely the potential becomes there, and uh, that can happen in a short period of time with these. All right, so two active warnings at the moment. The cold front's just out to our west. We've got to get this thing to swing on through here, and that's going to be happening as we head through the late evening. And by 1 a.m., all this is well east of our area, so we start to see things wind down and head on into Georgia. Okay? All right, let's, uh, let's get under there a little closer. We'll take a peek at uh, our storm here in Butler County. That uh, looks like it's just about to, probably going to be crossing here very shortly. And like you mentioned a little bit ago, I'll run in the polygon. Uh, it looks like our, more than likely this is right there at the northern fringes of the polygon. Coming up into southern Lowndes County, Fort Deposit, we suggest that uh, this storm is coming your way. So it's got a warning on it, tornado warning. Mm -hmm. So be in your safe place. And that might be an update, but it's a uh, so Clark whether, County, Alabama Warning. Cancel that one. All right, so they canceled the uh, Clark County Southwest Alabama tornado warning, so good news there. All right, so that storm's died down a little bit. This one doesn't look as impressive, at least from the reflectivity, but let's go inside and, and uh, see what it's doing, if it's doing any rotating or see if that has slacked off a little bit. So we can do that. Uh, we still got circulation. Uh, it, will that allow us? Yeah, there we go. We can loop that. So, yeah, we still got a rotating storm here. So we may see this thing extended, or we'll see what uh, Birmingham does with this. They take over uh, as far as the warning for this will be Lowndes County. So I'd say a heads up for it, deposit, uh, be in your safe place. You've got a storm approaching. It's coming right up 65, all right? So I wouldn't be traveling between Fort Deposit and Greenville along I-65. If you know anybody that's doing that, give them a call and uh, tell them they want to seek shelter. Uh, they got a storm there that uh, rolls through there, and uh, it's still showing signs of rotation. Okay, circulation looks pretty decent there. So, uh, any heads up on that from uh, BMX? Uh, they haven't uh, responded yet. No, we're still uh, awaiting their uh, plan on Lowndes County. All right, so uh, we'll just say we we'll get some heavy rain here in the city of Montgomery. So, uh, yeah, good soaking going on out there tonight. There's no doubt about that. All right. So here it is, the uh, tornado, the polygon, still running until, what's the time on that 745. one? 7.45. 7.45. All right, it's going to be out of there before then. So this thing, and we may get an update on that. Mm, that's a new severe thunderstorm warning tornado possible, but looks like that's going Way to be southward. southwest Alabama. All right, so our storm is approaching southern Lowndes County. It's coming up out of northern Butler County, so be in your safe place. We still suggest that, northern Butler County. Uh, as that storm's approaching you, uh, and that is now, I think we can give the city of Greenville the clear. I'm looking at our camera in town. Yeah, it looks uh, like it. Um, we can angle that camera a little bit towards the northeast, though, now since the storm's passed. Uh, that's something that kind of slipped my mind as the uh, storm is just kind of west of town there. Yeah, and so um, 
we can flip it around, keep a peek on that as the, this cell's still cranking out a lot of lightning with it. All right, as it approaches Fort Deposit, and there's still some circulation in there, so you folks in Fort Deposit, I would suggest uh, you may want to seek shelter. Uh, there's a storm capable of producing a tornado. It's got circulation still going on with it in northern Butler County, about to cross over the county line here very shortly, right there along uh, I-65, and that looks like 185, State Route 185 right there. All right, so that's where our circulation is between 65 and 185. If you live in northern Butler County, right in that area right there let's pick it up a little bit more get in there and see we might pick up some uh, areas that we can highlight on that there's Searcy going to be passing right over Searcy up toward Fort Deposit Calhoun Logan um, eventually could get up toward uh, southern Montgomery County as well at least the western Montgomery County so we'll keep tracking this one as it moves north and eastward at uh, about uh, 35 miles per hour all right so there's County, uh, County Road 45 going to be approaching that uh, this is also south of Fort Deposit. You'll be impacted by this storm as it comes in there. So the, city, the community of Searcy, you need to be in your safe place. That storm right there on you moving through, uh, and, and, and it looks as though that thing's just about out of the polygon right there. So we'll see how that one's handled, but it is still circulating, and the threat is there for southern Lowndes County uh, for this storm to move up in there. So... We'll watch that very closely. And Birmingham says they're not going to be issuing a tornado warning for now. Uh, circulation doesn't look that good. Uh, storm seems to have crossed the warm front, so that's kind of something we see with these uh, individual rotating storms sometimes. Sometimes they really get ramped up as they're uh, crossing over the warm front itself and uh, sometimes produce tornadoes as they're doing so, and then as soon as they cross over to the cool side of the warm front, they uh, start to weaken and die down, so that could be the case with this cell. But I don't think we should let our guards down just yet. All right, so uh, that's what we've got going on, and let's uh, let's go out and take a, lar a wider view of everything that we've got. Uh, we'll keep monitoring that, but I would say you folks in Fort Deposit, one thing's for certain, you probably got some wind coming your way, some heavy rain and lightning in there. Uh, no warning out for your county, uh, but we're looking south and west where it looks like the mobile's gone with a large scale. Severe thunderstorm warning. Looks that uh, way. With that one, and and I know that one cell that was. Uh, in southwestern Clark County. I know that had very impressive rotation on it at one point, so maybe that just quickly kind of weakened and died down. It was one point near uh, Jackson. Maybe mm -hmm. if I uh, put the scope on there again, uh, we'll be able to see that because that was certainly within the last hour there. Yeah, it seems like that came through there and just kind of uh, roped out, I guess, for lack of a better term, to the southeast of Grove Hill as it crossed over 84. Yeah, uh, and just a heads up, uh, Mobile canceled the uh, Butler County uh, tornado warning. So we're good there. City of Greenville, good. Uh, no, no factor. Uh, that storm well to your north and a little bit weaker. So that has, that's good news. But overall, you can see we got a lot of rain out here tonight. Embedded storms in there, and some of these can spin up. These are uh, that's what's going on out there. These are radar indicated spin ups, um, to circulating storms that are moving through here, and um, that's kind of how we're going to be here for the next bit, uh, next couple of hours. Here we are at 7.30, so uh, ongoing active. But the thing is, uh, we don't have any active tornado warnings, Ben. I just uh, realized that. So with that being said, we're going to keep an eye on the situation here for you, but uh, we're going to return you to programming here very shortly. Uh, but the bottom line is, still have some storms across your area. Be weather aware. Be prepared to seek shelter when these storms uh, work through our area. Uh, any of these could be capable of spinning up and maybe dropping a tornado, so the threat is still real. We have a tornado watch until 1 a.m., but uh, uh, right now no active tornado warnings for our area. We'll keep an eye on it for you. Of course, we'll be right back on if we need to. In the meantime, we'll return you back to your regular scheduled programming.